I hope you'll live up to our expectations. Welcome, Founder, to Industries of Titan Early Access. You may find plenty of what we like to call bugs, which the Council are eager to squash. If you stumble upon such a bug, we appreciate you reporting it on the forums or on our Discord. Thank you. The Council looks forward to seeing what you can do. Welcome, Founder. My name is Shiaro Hess, and I am your Corporation Monitor. Every Founder on Titan is assigned a Monitor like me. I make sure you treat Titan with respect. It is the Council's property, after all. If we work together, we'll make this city very efficient. Let's begin by testing your oversight capabilities, Founder. First, try to move your surveillance camera around your land. Excellent work. Now, let's test your camera's rotation and zoom function. Working as expected. One last thing to ensure everything is running correctly. Try pausing and resuming, and check that your speed register is working properly. seems to be in order. Then, we begin with your main duties. Founder, please take a close look at your starting territory. The outlined tiles adjacent to your headquarters belong to you. You are free to do as you please with this land. Any land outside your territory, however, belongs to the Council. If you wish to use that land, you will have to pay the Council with influence. I see you eyeing those ruins. Intriguing, aren't they? The ruins cover almost every inch of Titan. They're the wreckage of an earlier, more foolish age. The doomed settlers who built them left many resources and artifacts behind. Your territory already contains some ruin structures. You can survey them in your city view. Survey results will show you the contents of the ruins. Issuing a survey order will assign an employee to do it for you. Try surveying the ruins you control. Survey results have shown that some nearby ruins contain valuable resources. Resources are used to construct buildings and devices. Our city needs them to grow. Try salvaging one of the ruins to gather its resources now. The resources you find there will be placed in storage by your employees, if there is storage available. Founder, 
You may be interested to learn that there are other secrets hidden inside the nearby ruins. They can contain artifacts, rare and valuable technology from before Titan's fall. When you select a ruin, you can choose to extract artifacts instead of salvaging it. But keep in mind, not all ruins contain artifacts. You must survey them first to make sure. Artifacts are very rare, so use them wisely. If you have many artifacts, you can always donate them to the Council. It will earn you quite a bit of influence. Oh, hey there, uh, Founder? Right, right, they told me you'd be checking in soon. I'm Vern Skull, your Waste Management Officer. I think that title is pretty reductive, but yeah, I'm the one who moves the waste around. You make the trash, I move the trash. You dump the trash, I burn the trash. It's a beautiful partnership. And boy, you do have a lot of trash piling up around your city, don't you? No worries yet, though. We'll handle it later. Welcome to Titan, Founder. I am Anar Peer, your Council representative. There are currently nine Council members on Titan. Each of us sponsors and oversees different corporations on this moon. I am your sponsor. Your city permit and Council funding are thanks to me. I hope you will return my faith with high profits. And remember, everything the Council has given you can easily be taken away. Founder, the Council has granted you a Headquarters facility. Enter your Headquarters by selecting it in your City View. I suggest you build some devices inside of your Headquarters. Every new city needs a few essential devices to operate smoothly. Founder, this headquarters is the best place to build the devices that will keep your city running. The first devices you need are storage containers to hold your minerals and isotopes. Build a storage container here in your headquarters. If you need more room, you can also build one inside a factory. Founder, I got us a temporary solution to our waste problem. There's waste all over our city, but you can build a waste receptacle in your headquarters to store it. Your employees will automatically pick up the waste and place it into storage. Now, it's not a long-term solution, but it'll have to do for now. Besides, if the citizens can't see the waste, it might as well not be there, right? <laughs> energy storage, all that great stuff. It's my passion, honestly. Since I was a kid, I've wanted nothing more than to slam the contact switch on a giga battery and see the sky light up. 
And after years of school and grad school and VR training programs and <laughs> dropping out of VR training programs, I'm finally here! We'll do great stuff to get founder. Trust me. My career is on the line, and you can count on me to take that seriously. Hey, Founder! Um, I checked inventory and we don't have enough fuel. We need fuel to generate energy for our buildings and devices. Luckily, there's fuel all around us in the air. Titan's air is so toxic, it contains many flammable substances we can burn for energy. So, build a fuel fabrication device in your headquarters, or in a factory. These devices don't require any external energy of their own, and they operate with it without employees. Very convenient. need an external source of energy in order to operate. Build an energy generator somewhere on empty floor space in your headquarters or in a factory. The generator will convert fuel into energy. The juice is flowing! It's time to send that energy out to the buildings and devices that need it. Energy doesn't travel on its own, <laughs> I wish. We need relays to carry the energy. Let's build some relays now. They'll power everything the grid touches. Just make sure that all the buildings and devices that need energy are connected to the grid and that the grid has an energy source. Founder, it seems that you've successfully constructed an energy system to serve your city. However, your future population also needs to be stored adequately. I suggest you construct habitat pods inside your headquarters. You can set these pods up next to your factory equipment. Don't worry, your citizens won't mind.
running out of free space for devices. As your city grows, you will always need more floor space. If your headquarters has no more room, you can always build additional factories and install the devices there. If you are to power your factory with energy generated inside another building, you will want to build this new factory close by. I'm sure your power engineer will explain how to do this later. That is her department, after all. When construction is complete, you is her department, after all. When construction is complete, you can enter the factory interior and customize it, just like your headquarters. <laughs> 